my Gucci Spikeys, get rimptious, delicious cancer, welcome to your love tarot reading. We are going to see your general energy vibe check today in love, my baby. We're going to see what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love, who's out, who's in, who's getting deleted from the database. And I'm here in Paphos Harbor, so lots of fishies here. Uh, the, um, you know, the island of Aphrodite, the island of love, and we're also by the temple of Orpheus, so... <laughs> It's all about finding love uh, in the underworld today, my baby. So let's see. Please show me angels what's coming through for my scrumptious, delicious cancer. Okay, cancer. This is good that we're at the Temple of Orpheus. So you're going through something in the underworld right now, baby. This is what I'm feeling. You're going through something. You're going through hardship and love. It could be hardship and love because you, you're just not meeting the right person for yourself. You know, you're meeting a lot of douche flutes or people who aren't very feeling. And baby, let me tell you, mommy always does this, but I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising. We are water signs. We need that beautiful, deep, scrumptious, amazing love. We're not, you know, we're not casual lovers. Even if it's something casual, it's always like extra, you know? So... I think you're feeling like you're going through some kind of an underworld experience. I think you had people in the past, maybe a specific person for some of you, you had people in the past who wanted to keep you in the dark about something, who, did, who didn't want to like address issues, who didn't want to talk about the situation, very like closed off and guarded energy with the two of swords, very closed off energy towards love as well, could have been uh, someone who's very much in the air energy, somebody who doesn't value feelings. That was toxic to you, baby. You're, you're moving on from that, or you need to. This is what the angels are saying. You should, you should be moving on from that energy. The Six of Swords. Wow. You know what? I'm feeling a lot of energy here in this site. Like, I don't even know if it's that positive. It's kind of like I'm at the Hellenistic Roman ruins. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like things went down here. All right. Anyway, that's just mommy, mommy talk. Um, yeah, Eight of Swords uh, is your current position. You know, this is about moving on. Six of Swords and Eight of Swords is about moving on from any pain that other people are putting on you, from any gaslighting, any denials, stuff like that. There was a person in the past where uh, a series of uh, relationships or connections where people were just trying to gaslight you, telling you that you're the problem, telling you you shouldn't ask me. You know, it's like, oh, you know, like question is like, I don't know, where did you go last night? And, and then somebody answers, well, where did you go? You know, like answering a question with a question, that kind of level of gaslighting could have been something more sinister i think if you were if you were in a long-term connection my baby i feel like you were really hurt that's that person put a lot of lies on you and imprisoned you and now you're moving on from that maybe orpheus will help you maybe orpheus will uh, help you to move out of the underworld and bring you back uh to uh to the world of the living that's kind of how it feels maybe for some of you you know somebody maybe even like killed your belief in love or killed your you know like a little bit you know pierced your heart a little bit baby oh it's okay mommy mm, mommy's gonna kiss it better the six of cups uh is coming for you baby new love rejuvenation and love you're going to remember what love feels like baby cancer you're going to find you're about to find a love that is worthy of you that is for you maybe the springtime is bringing you new love oh my gosh i just like looked to the side and I saw this beautiful butterfly. <laughs> so I think maybe the springtime is bringing a beautiful love or maybe early summer, something like that. But there's new love coming through for you, baby. And uh, the page of pentacles, which you're not expecting, someone's gonna send you a message. I think you could be receiving a message. Okay, so there's two things going on. Number one, keep going, keep moving away from the heartbreak and the person who tried to gaslight you because that person is really not worth it. Uh, and it could be, you know, a returning energy too. So it could be someone that's really difficult to let go of, somebody who had been returning to you or just a type of person who you keep meeting. So move on from that energy. Tell yourself, you know, the truth. And the truth is that you deserve better and that you believe that, that, that this better is coming towards you and this better is coming towards you. You're going to remember what love feels like. And I think you're going to have two people in your life. You're going to have one new love that's going to almost like you're going to meet someone all right uh in the next couple of months they're going to make you feel like not like a child again but like free like you know carefree and childlike again uh they're going to uh show you what that you know beautiful innocent um kind of high school love feels like that's what it's going to feel like and then you're going to receive a message which you're not expecting is a message from someone from the past um you know, obviously be careful if it's that gaslighting, a darker energy, but I think it's also a different energy. I think it's going to be uh, an energy you really haven't spoken to in a long time. And it's a positive person. It could be someone from like literally from high school, or it could be somebody you haven't spoken to in a long time, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good stuff.
Uh, and you're going to have to make a choice, you know, w with regards to commitments. You have the heart on here, Cancer. This, this is a great reading. This is like, you know, today is such a beautiful day. It's like theoretically a uh, winter time, but it's like really nice. The sun's out. Like I'm here like this. So, you know, it's not, too, it's going to rain like <laughs> in two days, but for now the sun is out. So it's like, you know, uh, the beginnings of new things, new relationships, new styles of love. And you're going to be making a commitment. I feel, mm, maybe around May time, around tourist season, maybe June, May, you're gonna be making a commitment to someone, you're gonna be making a choice who you're going to be committing to, an older positive energy or a new energy. Uh, the darker one is still lurking in your, <laughs> in your vicinity, so I would just you know make sure that you're on guard against their negativity. I do feel like the energy you were dealing with in your recent past, where you know the one that's still lingering with you, is a pre it's like a sinister energy, it is someone who's been bringing you down, so don't let that happen, baby, just keep going going forward keep keep loving yourself and keep believing in love because that person tried to destroy your belief in love don't let them do that uh so this is what i have for you today my darling scrumptious delicious cancer let me just take a look at the time mommy can't see anything okay <laughs> six minutes um mommy can't see anything because because the sun is in my eyes um Cancer, thank you for spending your time with me. This is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me or are interested in any of my other magical uh, services or coaching services, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby, my darling. Uh, stay sparkly, stay gorgeous. I'm sorry, mommy laughing because it's just like people passing because it's like daytime towards them you know people passing me by were like what is this woman doing anyway i love you my baby stay sparkly stay gorgeous stay moisturized and may the angels protect you <laughs>